you know, I was just looking at the name of the university. It's Minnesota State University of Moorhead. I don't know how we... What, what's the best shortened version of that we can say, do you think? Maybe just not Minnesota. Moorhead. Well, Moorhead's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I like Moorhead. We're going to call it Moorhead. Yeah, and this is called Moorhead. <laughs> um, and I right, we're going to get their front line with Ethan Hepler's set. I played a season of competitive play with Ethan Hepler, and I can say his set is nice and clean, so I'm excited to see what he can do with that. You know, balance be damned. Viego can spam his R and get those executions along with Pike. So I'm definitely going to give Iowa the the advantage in a team fight here. The Victor, so that they have like this pot identity, they can like probably like make the enemy team low and then they can just go in and do all the reset and stuff. Um, and then we have Varus. Um, this is actually our boy Flex Q Gwen. That's his summoner name. Uh, but in tryouts, he definitely made some noise with the Varus pick. I was thoroughly impressed. And right away, yeah, they didn't ban Carry Fans Pike, and he just got it locked in. So, <laughs> as we saw last week, not give, or giving him care or giving Carry Fans Pike maybe not the best idea. I think I was definitely going to have the big advantage here, and it looks like they are all going to head to the river here. Maybe look for a pick early. Yeah, I really like this um, Pike. Really strong early. Really strong. Yeah, Dark um, Void's got to be careful here. Yeah, let's see if they can get a pit. All right, he's in trouble. You just know he's not going to miss those. He's going to have to burn Flash right away, but oh I my. think that Flash wasn't even... I don't think there was any way he was getting out of that. I think that's one of those situations where you just let the Flash go. You know, you don't use it, just sacrifice and give up. But now Dark Void, not only has he died once, but down a Flash and, you know... A good jungler like Mango is going to recognize that that's a free gank in the next five minutes. I want to look to mid lane here. Yeah, but we also like, but yep, this um, so Johnny is probably trying to like help out as already since they lost. Uh, let's see if they. Oh, it I would be a kill is... for Void. Or, oh no, that he's going to so live. Close. Corrupting pot. I wow, Titan with the confidence there, totally was just sitting on Flash, but Carrier fans is already here. And it oh, could no. be a dangerous it might be situation. A, it might be a really bad play for Ari. No, nah, that's a nice flash usage. And right there, Carrier Fans takes advantage of the flashless Ari. Dark Void with two deaths already in this game. Um, so Johnny Gank, do you think that so Johnny Gank was like sort of a little bit forced? Oh, for sure. Definitely. Selene was already feeling the pressure. Is he, He's definitely feeling pressure here. I like this play from Mango. Don't attack the blue buff at all. Force Selene to walk away from it. And this is just so much wasted time. Now Dark Void has to come. Selene just smites the buff just to get the health back. Dark Void oh, gets no. collapsed on and I think is going to be his third death. As all yeah. he can really do now is run as Frozen Tight will pick up the kill. I'm and... so glad that um, this Pike gave the kill to this Vita. Like, this Vita's really ahead now. I'm expecting that like, maybe like, he's really ahead of the curve. And he's like, like this game is pretty much just over. Like, oh, for sure, yeah. Ethan, ha Ethan Hepler just got a free kill top lane, too. That's a solo kill. Flex you, Gwen's in here. I think he might be in trouble. He is. Chef Freddy going to get the kill on him. Now, Carry Fans kind of just has to run away. We see a skirmish between the junglers, as we know Selene has no flash, just used it. No smite either, so I think this is Mango's buff to take here. And he oh. is going to smite it away. Now he's level 4. Got 3 out of 4 buffs on the map. Helped his team get a kill and got a kill of his own. I think that's a pretty successful first back for a jungler. Ball. Ooh, yeah, I do I, like this. You might get caught here. Flex Q Gwen. I think he's he is nice flashless dodge. at the moment. Nice, a nice um, stun from Carrier uh, fans, but I think Flex Q Gwen is gonna go down. Almost gets the well, kill. Will he get the oh, oh, he no, is gonna wait, trade wait, one wait, for he, one. Yes, yes, that's really nice. I think that's oh, definitely Carrier worth. Fan. But Carrier fans is in trouble here. He's got the hook. He's gonna have to find some way to escape, but. It's going to be a two-for-one there for Moorhead, so a positive trade overall. Where do you think they will... Oh, since they got the Rift Herald, where do you think they will drop the Rift Herald at? I think it's smart to just drop it top side here as they do the dive. It's oh. a dangerous dive on Alawi, but it is going to pay off. Wow, that was Mango is really, low here, really clean. And oh. he is going to get ulted. It's going to be a one-for-one one trade. Uh, yeah. Heath Hepler is up three levels here. I don't think this is a free kill for Selena. I think he might die here. 
but good flash from Hepler. He's in a bit of trouble here, although he is just waiting for his W to come back up. He can kind of just run away here. As we see Carrier fans last man standing here, it's a support on support battle as he's going to R forward. Missed the hook though, so nothing there on that. I don't know how tilting it is to be dark right now, being losing your mid lane before mm -hmm. your lane even started. Oh, for sure. I mean, just off one mistake early game, as we see these kills coming in bot side. Nice ult from Carrier fans. And that's going to be two quick kills for Flexku Gwen. And uh, unfortunate for Moorhead. I think the bot lane is the biggest place they've had the lead so far. And for them to just get wiped out like that. Yeah. And also the best player uh, is in bot lane. So this is truly unfortunate for them. Mm -hmm. And Mango going to leash the blue buff over to Titan there. Titan going to pick that up. And now we see Dark Void press so far back. Just has to hug the tier 2 and hope he can farm some waves just based on that. But if we take a look at the CS difference, it's nearly double the CS for Titan. Contest jungle. Yeah, for sure. We're going to see the Yumi ult come through. I think Yumi's in trouble here. He is going to get ulted by Carrier fans. And now Chef Freddy's kind of struggling by himself just to stay alive. That's a huge another kill. By Yumi. Oh, for sure. Definitely stayed unattached for way too long there. Yeah, letting Varus having ultimate. It was. We'll Freddy's in trouble. I think he's going to get killed here. Yeah, he is. And they're going to take the tower for it as well. And just with all these plays, Iowa up 12k gold and counting. By Elite, just like controlling the objective, controlling how the tempo goes, just like keep, like unrelentingly, just like keep pushing. And pushing and and, uh, and they're gonna be challenged Moorhead. for this rift. I don't think I think Iowa got that. They did. Wow, and that was crazy. Yeah, it was another. It was a nice smite there from Mango, and all three of the members here for Morehead are gonna die for it. As Mango and Hepler will both flash over the wall. And uh, that looked really good is for Twenty-one to eight. It, it did. It, it, they had the man advantage. I think. Just realistically, since Iowa had two members coming straight from base to the Rift Herald, I think it, like it was never going to be winnable for them. Even if they get that Rift Herald, all three of them die there no matter what. Yeah, yeah, you're right about. You know, a situation here where oh, as Rocket Boat Bet will just have to flash away. I don't even know if that will save him. Hepler's still on the trail, but he's going to back off now. Both agree that this game is over. Um, what do you think Moorhead can do next game tonight? Hopefully, and I do better in draft. Do you... uh, as I said, I, I feel like the Sajani, well, not Alawi was sort of a weird pick, oh, especially sure, with yeah. the team top. Really want to split push, but like, um, we, as we can see at the really beginning of the match, we have seen like Sajani start from top side trying to path down to bot side. Maybe like, hopefully, we'll see more head like pitch something like maybe probably safer if they would want to play uh, for top side. Yeah. Or really not just seeing like the Owen or a Scion and maybe like some like beefier pit dust that can be like able to hold and just kind of farm it out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I also kind of think, you know, for Moorhead to go back to the drawing board on their team comp for the next game, they definitely should draft a comp that has a bit of a, a singular identity in mind. As I, I, and that's just going to be it here. The Nexus is going to fall. Yeah, that is going to be it for game one. They have lost the first game pretty hard. They still try to fight back. They try to like, try their best, and I feel like they they mm. can be a possibly a really good team if they just work on some of the fundamental like my macros and like being able to play the map a bit better and maybe like know how to work for um, gang um, like level one invades, which was what was what pretty much lost them their first game. Yeah, yeah. I I think also it's kind of a rough draw for them. Because the first two games they had to play were against, I would say, two of the better teams in this league. So having to play, you know, two of the strongest teams back to back, it is a, a tough couple first weeks, but it's a long season. So yeah, I think definitely they're going to have some room to win some games, make some noise in this league. And I'm just going to hope that Dark Void learned his lesson and will not just, you know, stand in the middle of the river and get caught again. But... Oh, no. Um, yeah, 
Well, this time he learned his lesson. He wooded and he backed off. Um, super exciting happening. We are going to see Slane. I think Slane is going to start the Iowa red buff for his clear. I actually like that quite a bit. <laughs> Did a good job recognizing that Iowa is not really there defending it. So he's just going to move in and take it. Although, uh, I oh, think... No. Pull off my... Nepler is... Oh, this could be bad for him. I think he might get caught here. No, oh. I, I, no I think Rocket Bopet did not start Taunt. But, oh, oh this no. is going to be interesting here. Actually, uh, Mango did just use his smite, though. So he is going to be smiteless heading up to this red buff. Oh, he will be level 2. And he level. is going to have his chomp. I think Selena is just going to run away from this here. Yeah, this is really unfortunate. Uh, Slane, he, even, he even had to pop Ghost, too, and I, I think that was a good play, but just Mango starting in such a weird spot, but if you do an invade like that, you definitely have to put a ward down just to, like, you know, be able to see over the wall. Like, now he still hasn't even completed his first camp, and we are going to see the first blood happen down here in bot lane. He's going to be yeah. quickly traded back, though, so I think a bit of an even trade, but... We see FlexQ Gwen on the Heimerdinger AD carry here. Yeah, Morehead is... I think they had the ping on it. They do have the wards on it. So they could come over here and look to contest this. But Iowa does have the mid prio. So at any point, you can see a roam here from Titan. And he is going to come down. He is level 6. So yeah. there is some danger here as Slane is going to get hooked back. Frozen Titan put in the cage. So I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. He is going to R in though. And I might be able to get this kill on Dark Void. Carry fans not with the hook though. So... Yep. He'll take his flash and the dragon for a positive trade, I'd say. I really like the play from UIWA. They know their strength. They know that they have bot um, prior. They know they can roam up the Heimerdinger first, and they can Yone stronger than um, oh, Viedor, uh, Vagar. So, oh, nice hook in the, the wave. And I think they're in trouble here. Chef yep. Freddy going to go down, and now Cloud12 just going to have to run for his life. I don't think it's going to get very far, though. As yeah, really nice. We'll hit the good final map hook. read from UIWA. Like, yeah, knowing it was great. Which game, knowing where it should be on the map. And a fantastic really hook. That. Fantastic hook from carrier fans, too. That was not an easy hook to hit. As we're definitely kind of. Oh, that was a nice flash cue. What, what about that from Mepler? A little yeah, fadeaway was... jumper? Okay. Yeah. Wait, the Slane here is in the bot lane. And I think here Ooh. it is, the Heimerdinger in the death round, but oh, the, nice escapage uh, yeah. from Flex Hugh Gwen. And Slane is in trouble as Carafan's gonna take him down. I didn't see him I didn't say Slane uses W there. Kinda surprised. Yeah. I thought he had a all... shield to give, but I mean Iowa definitely does not have a bad team comp fight. So or a, a bad team fight comp with Olaf and Yone as I think Rocket Bopet might be in trouble here. He's going to get queued a second time, and he's kind of getting run down. The ultimate's going to pop. And yeah, that's going to be another kill for Hepler. That's another solo kill. Oh, here we're going to see the gank. It was a nice hook, but Chef Freddy doing a nice job of using his wind wall. I don't even know what to call that. Yeah. Um, also, um, Slay, Lay, Azure, but Slay, Bobby Knight was thankfully bot side, or it would have been a easy die for the UI war side. Oh, for sure, yeah. Good positioning from Selena there on the map. And he's keeping it pretty even in CS. But Dark Void might be in trouble here. Gonna get hit, and he's yep. gonna get ulted as well by Frozen Titan and the double ult. Not enough damage to kill him, though. It's a tanky yeah. little Vagar, I guess. Although UI what does get to put down the Rift Hero and then. Oh, he's solo killing bot lane? Okay. Chef Freddy able to pick one up. Carry Fans is kind of hiding in this bush here. Not sure if they'll be able to get anything off that, but yeah. either way, it's going to be first. Really. Oh, for sure. Carafan, he's just going to have to escape, but Iowa does get the first tower gold. And I believe Frozen Titan is in a fight here with Selena. I believe he took him to the death realm, but he is going to be able to escape with just the Silver HP. Now Mango's here by himself. Maybe he can take down Selene, but there's the shield that time. Hold it until I bid like the last set to use it. At the end, we yeah. see this Olaf chasing down those. Yeah, here again. it is again. Yep. I, I'm struggling to find ways that they can maybe get back into this game as I was just kind of dominating all over the map. They do have a lead in the bot lane. I'm going to be interested to see if they can bolster that somehow. But I think 
for the, for Iowa's bot lane, I think it's just going to be kind of a scale, and eventually Flex Q Gwen, I think, is going to have more prio in a team fight than Samira. Yeah, Samira is not good. Um, Samira's don't have difficulty in team fight with the people that can shut down her ultimate yeah. with CC. Although that was a really good dodge from um, Samira from the Pike Hood. Yeah. I think you said uh, Chef Freddy's definitely their, he's their highest ranked player, right? Uh, no, it's their support, um, but he is the second highest um, okay. in platform. Yeah, that, that's what I figured. Uh, kind of interesting then to see the highest ranked you know, player being the support, and they put him on Yumi both games. I maybe would have liked to see him you know, flex his support skills on Nautilus or Blitzcrank or something with a little more agency. But... Well, I did check his um, his match history, and he's been like the the Sawaka, the Lulu, the Renata Grass, um, like the more supportive and okay. challengerous support player. That makes sense. That makes sense. Slight uh, just having a run for his life here. I also just have to say, I feel like Cloud as a support player is probably um, like have maybe never played against like someone like Carrier fan that's like super aggressive and like. Being able to like shut down his enchanter uh, enchanter pet pit from like just being able to stay on like the, the just like the hood after hood after hood like really being able to like bring UI were really ahead. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, Iowa just has you know they have such dominance in both these games, and you know this this series certainly wasn't a challenge for them just based on the skill difference. Um. I'm gonna be interested to see how they how they perform against you know maybe a little bit more of a closely matched team. I know we said Nebraska Lincoln has a couple Masters players, so I'll be really uh, excited for that match. Hopefully, maybe they can find their own like aggression, maybe like play more, find like the identity for themselves right now because right now so far what I can see I have I don't sense like they they seem a bit lost and like in the sense of direction sure. of what they want to do. For sure. And I, I think after a game like this, really all you can do as a team is just VOD review it just to figure out kind of where things went wrong and, you know, what you can do better in the future. You know, for that first game, it, it's a bit obvious where things went wrong. It, it was just kind of from the beginning with the pick on Ari and just like the no flash being available. And this game, I, I think it's a little bit more ambiguous where things went wrong. But one thing definitely that Moorhead needs to work on as a team is CSing. Yes, yes, I will have to agree with you. Oh, I, I feel like one of the biggest things that went wrong was Mordekaiser trying to start that bait on Red. He had, um, Shen is not able to reinforce him, and his mid, mid lane was also not able to be a Yo, um, Yone early as Vader. I feel like they, they never, they have both of these late game stalemate champions. He should have started on his blue or his red. Like, once he noticed that the enemy jungle left his um, red side. Yeah, and I love to see that there. I think everyone on Iowa used their ults on the Baron there, just to instantly burn it down. And right after the pings came through, and everyone said, "Like you know, enough messing around. Time to end this game." So you know they get the pick here on the Shen, but Hathor's gonna have to run away here. I think he may actually go down. Yeah, he is gonna go down. Bit of a contested team fight here. There might be some trouble here for Iowa, but yeah, yeah Chef Freddy gonna be in the back line. He's Using this ult, he's getting Ooh. some damage off. Flexi Gwen is going to be able to pick up the kill with a nice W usage. But I think Frozen Titan really hasn't even been able to get in here just yeah. yet. So right now it's two for two. Pretty even yeah. fight. I, I feel like that was honestly <laughs> a little bit of like, aggression from UI. Well, although it's understandable. It's like they, they have the huge lead. They probably like, think they can just push in and just hard win. Like sort of a little bit like disrespecting the more heads, um, still able to pump out some damage. So yeah, they're just kind of in the base. A really strong sword. Nice stopwatch from Carrier fan. For sure, and we're gonna see the new new, the new new train coming. Just to roll into the base and do nothing. Yeah. Frozen tight with a nice three man ult. Wow. This this is probably the last fight. Ready to look at. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Yep. That was a nice flashy play to end the game on. I'm satisfied after that. Oh, oh wait, oh, actually. Wait, wait, can this Samara do something? 
And Chef Freddy got a couple nice kills there, but... Yeah. There is still this... Heimerdinger left, yeah. and Nunu. Let's see if Chef Freddy can, like, pull off a miracle, since a miracle is what he needs to hopefully hold on to the, the hope of continuing this game. Yeah, would you say he needs a, a some miracle, maybe? Well, nice pun. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a horrible pun. <laughs> Oh man, we'll end the game on that horrible fun then, as eh, that is going to be it. Um, yeah, so <laughs> how, how do you feel about uh, UI World right now as a team? Uh, I, I think it, they're looking super strong. Like, we, like you just said, I didn't even think about the fact that up until this game, they didn't even like get to the point where they needed